Good morning, everyone. Bert Cook, Executive Director of the Laporte Economic Advancement Partnership. Wanted to take a few moments to, uh, to, to sit down with you today. Uh, challenging times in all of our communities, and, uh, and things have definitely changed, and we're doing business in different ways right now. But in the course of all of that, economic development still goes on. And I uh, wanted to, to take a few moments to give you an update on some of the projects that are going on within our community and get everyone up to date. First, I'll start with the Newport Landing area. The, uh, the projects that are ongoing in Newport Landing are, are still uh, nearing the finish line, uh, most notably the Flaherty and Collins project. Uh, Flaherty and Collins intends to open a new 200-unit high-end multifamily apartment complex. Uh, they will start construction in July. If you've driven by the site at any point in, in, the, uh, in the spring here, you've seen that they've, we've, there's been ongoing environmental remediation. Uh, that process will wrap up as we get to June, and uh, vertical construction of the facility will, will begin in July. Now, right next door, Holiday Properties is nearing completion of their new 12,000-square-foot medical office, which will house Laporte Hospitals. Uh, some practitioners with Laporte Hospital. So that project will be done here shortly. There, uh, some parking lot is, is getting ready to go in and, and a few other site modifications, but they've done a tremendous job of, of getting that property uh, built and, and, and ready for occupation. In addition to that, the city has embarked on a brand new strategic plan for the Newport Landing area. We're focused on uh, commercial development, um, moving away from the big box concept and going with uh, some smaller applications with a couple restaurants being targeted, uh, as well as a recreational opportunity that we think can bring some great value to the community. The new strategic plan is available at the Laporte Economic Advancement Partnership. You can visit our website or give us a call. We'll be happy to share that document with you uh, if you're interested in what's, uh, what's planned for that area. Now, just down the road and, and across the street, you will you may have seen that uh, a few residential homes have been demolished over the last couple months. Uh, that is part of a new development. The Patel Group is putting in uh, about a 12-unit strip center. Uh, they will have some new retail opportunities for our community. They have a couple tenants in hand and are working on securing some other tenants. Um, but that project as well will, will look to start here in the, in the not-too-distant future. It's great to see some of the, um, the work that's going on in Pine, on Pine Lake Avenue. It's a, a very important corridor for the city of LaPorte, and, uh, and this project will clean up some, uh, an area of, of, the, um, of Pine Lake Avenue, and, and it'll be great to see some new construction go on as well. As part of that project, you may or may not have heard that the LaPorte City Council recently expanded the boundaries of the Urban Enterprise Zone. The Enterprise Zone makes up a good portion of the center of the city, and that uh, program was given to us by the state legislator. Uh, there are a number of Enterprise Zones throughout the state of Indiana. LaPorte has what I believe to be the best Enterprise Zone of the group. We utilize the programs uh, within, the, within the Enterprise Zone to the best of our ability. And so recently the City Council uh, determined that three other areas could be a encompassed as part of the enterprise zone and that would bring some new resources to the table for developers to uh, to utilize in building their projects those those three areas are the patel development which i just referenced the maple lane mall and then the old fire station on boyd boulevard and that's another interesting project as as many know the the fire department is building a new fire station um, in roughly in June and July, uh, that should be come to completion and they should occupy that space. And in turn, we'll be selling that, uh, the former fire station property on Boyd Boulevard to a private developer. Uh, and we'll have some more information about that project as we get into the summer. Now downtown, there's also a wide variety of things that are going on. Most important, I think, is the what we call the 80-20 facade program, which is led by Angela Rose, our downtown director. She's been working diligently to put together the list and, and applications for all of the businesses that will be included in that program this summer. The Urban Enterprise Zone has utilized this program over the last five years. And through that process, we've, we've redone 37 exterior facades with new tuck pointing, painting, uh, and new awnings. And so businesses can apply for inclusion in the program for those three applications. 
we get a large number of companies that apply each year, and we're very proud of that fact. We're excited that people find the, the program to be valuable. It makes an extremely uh, big difference in our downtown. I think many people have commented, and we get calls in the office pretty regularly about uh, the, the way our downtown looks and some of the modifications that are occurring and how those you know, really just spruce up the entire downtown. So this summer, and, and it sh the work should begin here in the next 30 days or so, we've got six buildings that are going to be included. The first is the Mr. Mattress building. Second is Danny's Fireworks. Third, Toady Floral. Fourth, 702 Lincoln Way. And that's the corner of Lincoln Way and Monroe. Uh, the Top Skillet building. And finally, the former Hillbish Drug. So all of those... Uh, Buildings are in for uh, a major um, facade improvement, uh, and we're excited to see that process begin, and, and it'll occur over the course of the summer. Uh, again, if you have any questions about any of that, Angela Rose is available. Um, feel free to email or call. You can find all of her contact information on our website, which is the LaportePartnership.com. If you are interested, if you own a building in the downtown and you are interested in applying for the program in the future, I would highly recommend that you get your application in now. We, we have many buildings that are already in the queue for next year, and we, the Urban Enterprise Zone Board looks at each, um, each building individually and makes a determination for the, the following year's um, inclusion in the program. So Angela's uh, contact information is available on our website. Please you know, feel free to visit and give her a call if you have interest in being included in the program in future years. Now, in addition to that, I also want to make everyone aware of a new program that the Urban Enterprise Zone is, is trying out. It's, uh, we're calling it the uh, Residential Rehabilitation Grant. And again, this is in the downtown area. Um, it is a up to $10,000 matching grant for interior improvements on residential spaces in the downtown. So there are, uh, you're, you're eligible for 10000 up to $10,000 per unit. So if you have multiple residential units, you can apply more than once. Um, the, there are some other parameters in the program, but the big one is you have to, no matter what you're applying for, uh, what work you're applying to, to, be, um, uh, to be completed as part of the grant, you have to, that has to result in a fully finished and um, occupiable um, residential space. And so you have to have an apartment that's able to be leased um, at, the, at the conclusion of the project. So hopefully that's a, a quick update on some of the things that are going on with the, within our community. We um, we also have uh, so, some some great progress at the Maple Lane Mall. That's one we get questioned about pretty regularly. Um, stay tuned on that. I believe we'll have some announcements for you uh, that should be exciting for the community in the not too distant future. And then we continue to see a great deal of interest in the industrial side of things. Our Thomas Rose Industrial Park continues to be a location that uh, that we show regularly. And, and again, I think we'll have some announcements there as we get into the summer that, that will be well received. So if you have additional questions or you need additional information, again, I, I would recommend that you visit our website. Once more, that's LaportePartnership.com. Or please feel free to give us a call. We'll be happy to try and answer any questions that we can. Again, the, the Laporte Economic Advancement Partnership is here for our business community and residents alike. If there's anything we can do in this time to, uh, to help in any way, please don't hesitate to call. I'm very proud of, of Laporte, the city of Laporte, and the way our community is responding to, to this crisis. Um, look forward to happier times, and we're excited to see, to see us get back to normal in the not-too-distant future. Thanks for the time this morning, and everyone have a great day.